NBC10's Lauren Winfrey spoke with the family of one of the city's youngest victims of the deadly disease. A high school senior with plans of graduating in the spring, 17-year-old Elena Thatch had dreams of helping others and becoming a life coach. She has a smile that would radiate the room. But that smile and those dreams were dashed when Elena's aunt, Hien Yim, says her niece lost her battle with COVID-19 on Monday. It was the most horrible experience ever. <laughs> I would never want anyone to go through that experience. But unfortunately, more than 800,000 Americans have experienced this pain too. Here locally, more than 4,100 Philadelphians have died from the virus. Only five of those deaths were people under the age of 20, including Elena. She was on track to graduate from only Charter High School in the spring. We didn't know the impact that she had on everyone. Mm. And it's just amazing, like, how this young little soul was able to do that. Elena tested positive for COVID-19 about a week ago. It started with mild symptoms that only grew worse. Coughs and labored breathing prompted her mom to call 911. The ambulance comes and they took her vitals. It was not normal. She was already at an oxygen saturation level of 70%. Her lungs and heart collapsed along with the rest of her organs, causing severe brain damage. All medical options were exhausted, and Elena's body was just too weak to continue fighting. Hien says Elena had no pre-existing conditions, but her doctor mentioned weight as a possible reason for the rapid decline. They broke the news to us, like, Elena's She's basically brain dead, and we're going to have to wean her off. Hien says her family is still trying to cope with the loss of Elena. She was their light and source of strength. But they're also committed to doing what Elena has always done, seeing the positive despite misfortune and spreading awareness about the deadly effects of COVID-19. And our hearts go out to Elena's family. Her aunt tells me she wasn't vaccinated, but she was scheduled to get the vaccine next month. Her funeral is Saturday. Reporting in Philadelphia, Lauren Winfrey, NBC 10 News.